All right, boys, welcome back. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't even see a reason why I should say the episode number if you... <laughs> the episode no number doesn't even matter. It's like 40-something. I think we're almost to 50, actually. It, wait, is this 50? No idea, but if it is, cool. Um, I think we're like halfway done with this, uh, this place, and I think we're gonna beat it in this episode should take like 30 minutes so you have returned did you make the trade yes sir an eye for a single claw hmm some would call that a good bargain <laughs> if both or spoke without deceit the eye of truth will reveal the foul enchantment upon ivar anderson and free, and free him, him. to rescue our thane you must find him in frostholm the fortress of the red claw those left in the village are put to work making Frost home, so they may know where Ivar is. Speak to Grimnir. Wait, what? The village elder who stayed in Anders Holt. If he knows anything, he will tell it to you. They're making Frost home? Like, is that... Wait, what? Confused. You should not have returned. It's dangerous out there. But fate put you here for a reason. I will help you. If you wish to get into the Red Claw Fort of Frostholm and rescue Ivar Anderson, your best hope is to sneak in and cause trouble for them from inside. They are looting the village and all the nearby lands of all our weapons. They do this to arm themselves and to keep us from fighting back. They have taken many weapons already, so now they're looking for the most valuable ones. If you present yourself at their gate with a great weapon, they will let you in. Mmm. Okay. Ragnar Stormbrow, leader of the Red Claw here in Anders Holt, carries the finest weapon I have yet seen. Take it from him. They are certain to want it. Yeah, okay, this is that little dungeon up there. Who are you? How did you get here? It matters little. Your trespass ends right now. Right now. Yo, why is everyone in this place myth and ice? Can, can someone explain? <laughs> I guess I'll just hit with Blizzard. I'm probably going to fizzle once again. Uh, but at least the minions will be dead. Wow, I didn't fizzle for the first time. That's cool, man. Yeah, okay. 194. <laughs> that guy actually has a lot of resist. Well, not a lot, but... In this place, he does. Because he's a boss. I was expected, though. What is that thing behind him? What's that thing over there? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, they're all around. What is this? Did, has someone translated that? There's, there's more writings on the wall over here. I think it's too blurry to actually translate. 
No one knows how to speak. Uh, what do they speak here? They speak English. Come on. <laughs> Wait, what, who do we need to talk to? Oh, the front guy. The gatekeeper. Wait, are we actually going to it right now? Hold on there. No one can come in unless they're bringing supplies. Let me see what you've got there. That's a fine blade there. Just like the one Ragnar Stormbrow carries. You'll be glad to have it. <laughs> you can use it as a spare. <laughs> okay. Go right in. Speak to Ulrich Oathbreaker inside. He will guide you. Wait, we're actually going right now. Bro, flossing? Yo, have you seen the Rocket League car flossing? I'll put it on the screen right now. Did I favor it? No. I need to I need to look for it again. Yo, these these things are actually kinda because <laughs> it's the same thing, but that's the more good and some are bad. <laughs> What do you want, young cub? Ulrich Oathbreaker leans forward and speaks in a whisper. You can trust me. Grimnir told me of an outlander who was trying to help us rid our village of the Red Claw. I pretended to break my oath so that I could learn how to defeat the Red Claw, but I am still loyal to my people. I can tell you how to cause trouble for the Red Claw and help you get to see Ivar Anderson. If your goal is to get to speak with Ivar Anderson, you must gain the trust of his henchman, Gunnar Quickaxe. Gunnar is the Red Claw camp leader. Go present yourself to Gunnar Quickaxe. Tell him you will work for him. When he gives you a task, return to me. We will see if we can turn it to our advantage. Okay. You want to join the Red Claw, huh? You don't look like much, but we'll take anyone who's ruthless and resourceful. I see that you've got a good weapon to add to those we've already got. Good, then. Go and find Haldar Stormwatcher. He's in charge of our weapon storehouse. You'll want to see that fine sword you've brought us. I think I make it. Yeah, okay. It is as I thought. Haldor Stormwatcher is our quartermaster. He is in charge of the horde of weapons the Red Claw arm themselves with. If you wish to help the people of Anders Holt, defeat Haldor Stormwatcher and sabotage the weapons he's got stored. That will weaken the Red Claw when they try to use them in battle. Hmm. The little cave up here. I'm Haldor Stormwatcher. I'm the quartermaster here. With these weapons I've gathered, the Red Claw will easily defeat all our foes. Nice weapons. We'll take the King's own city from him and we'll rule all of Grizzleheim. What do you have for me? What do you mean it's not for me? Foolish young cub, step a bit closer and I'll take it from you. Oh, okay, man. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> They've got a nice storage of weapons over there. <laughs> Just one rack. <laughs> I think they could have made this... I mean, to be honest, I think they could have made all of the worlds, early worlds, a lot better. With like the amount of effort and detail put in like to some of the newer worlds, these worlds could really, really be a lot better. Like just from the old Wizard City to the new one, it's a lot better, graphic wise. Um...
I guess I'll just pass. Yo, one special event point. Thanks, man. For using a TC. Some tricks the blacksmith taught you to weaken the metal of the weapons. With a little work, they become useless for battle. <laughs> it's empty now, guys. They store their weapons in a cave. No, 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 don't talk too fast. I need to talk. You have done well. If they use those weapons in battle, they will certainly be defeated. No one suspects your work yet, but you should remain careful. Our work is going well, but we can do much more to weaken the Red Claw and ensure their defeat. Go and speak to Gunnar Quickaxe once more and see what task he will put you to. Such an opportunity can be used against the Red Claw. How do they not suspect anything? We're wizards coming inside of you. You again? Looking for more work, I gather. Very well. If you want to be useful, go and give this gift of fine golden arm rings to the boars that just joined the Red Claw. Their leader is named Scar Snout. He's not too bright and has a rash temper, so do not anger him. Give him the gold and he'll distribute it to his warriors. That should show the boars that we respect them and see them as our equals. Oh, we have to talk to this guy first. Before we go and do that. <laughs> he just got pulled. No. Do you have any hits? <gasps> wait, no, wait. Can he hit? Oh, oh, oh. They almost pulled me. Wait, no, that was a good guy. I guess not. <laughs> oh, no. Gunnar gave you golden arm rings to give to Scar Snout, leader of the Boars? Those are fine gifts, tokens of the highest respect. They won't see those arm rings, though. Ulrich looks around and pulls out a small wooden bottle. It looks like something a child would drink from. <laughs> I found this earlier today. It's blueberry juice, a drink for cranky little cubs with upset stomachs. Give it to Scar Snout. Okay, man. Why do they get so close to the edge? I mean, really? They really get close. <laughs> Scar Snout happy to join Red Claw. Gunner says he gives us gift to show respect. You bring gift? You give the bottle of blueberry juice to Scar Snout. A look of confusion crosses his face, then anger. What this? Blue juice for cranky tummy? <laughs> this drink for cub, not warrior. Gunner insults us? He thinks boys are cranky cubs. Yes, he does. You got it right. Was there another... Um, was there another bot? No, there were only two, right? Yeah, that's a mo wait. It would show the. Mm. Okay, it, it actually was. <laughs> okay. Oh, perfect timing.
Oh, the last one almost didn't die. If if I didn't have that blade, he would have lived. Gunnar. Oh, Gunnar. Oh, no. We have to talk to the other guy first. Good work. Now the boars think the Red Claw has no respect for them. They are still troublesome, but they won't be allies. Our work, I think, is almost at an end. We can risk one more act of sabotage, and it had better be for the greatest good. Go and see Gunnar Quickaxe and see what mischief he will set you to. Then return once more, and we will try to make good of it. Mmm... Yo, don't get pulled. Why? Why does he get so close? What? You there, young cop. How do the boys like their golden arm rings? I'll wager they were quite pleased. Did Scar Snout send word back? Yeah, bro, he hated it. No oath of fealty. No promise of aid. Hm. That is troubling. But no great matter. The boys will likely show their gratitude in another way. If you want to be a member of the Red Claw, we have need of ruthless, cruel men who will not listen to the cries of weaklings. Go to the jail and speak to Olaf Iron Chains. We've captured some villagers, and Olaf will need help breaking their spirit. <laughs> sure, man. Gunnar wants you to go interrogate villagers, does he? Your choice is clear. Defeat Olaf Iron Chains and set the villagers free. Yo, I like how they like hired all like really very like strong sounding men for all these voice acting. Gonna send you to help interrogate these weakling villagers. Good. I can use an assistant. Go and soften them up some. Put the fear into them. I'll follow it up with the hurt. Here's a key to their cell doors. Let me know if they talk. What just happened? Gonna send you to help go and soften them up some. Put the fear into them. I'll follow it up with the hurt. Here's a key to their cell doors. Let me know if they talk. Wait, did <laughs> you got pulled? What are you doing? I'll get you. <laughs> uh -huh. Oops. No need for an enchant there, man. Oh, did he already use the regular? Oh, oops. <laughs> I did not notice. Hey, it's 420. Sorry, it's 120 for me. Five. Don't know what I expected. He wouldn't have any other faint. He could. No, that item, uh, the jewel faint amulet is like level 50 plus, right? But yo, wait, wait, I've gotten three couch potatoes on my other account. One on here, bro, couch of potato. You did well. 
Olaf Iron Chains was evil, and the prisoners are safely away from here now. Gunnar hasn't heard of our acts of sabotage yet, so you should go speak to him now before he does. He'll surely let you in to see Ivar Anderson after. Yeah, how did I get hold of my eyes? I wasn't even close to them. What? This dungeon is so bad. You there? I heard some troubling news. Weapons destroyed, boars angry, and now escaped prisoners. You're not with us. Brothers of the Red Claw, attack! Oh my god, Beer. Wait, did I miss any dialogue? You no. You there? I've heard some troubling okay. news. Weapons destroyed, boars angry, and now I escaped That's prisoners. That's why there's mobs here. Brothers of the Red Claw, attack! Uh, <laughs> I literally made that too, way too big. There we go. They normally don't spawn until we do that quest. Oh, wait. I don't... Wait, really? <gasps> no, I don't leave the blizzard! I suddenly right-clicked on it. Oh, wait, no, that guy had a shield anyway. He wouldn't have died. I think I might have to go back to the first episode of Grizzline just to find out why we needed to go to the, to the to this place. I completely forgot. Yo, do I just rewatch all my walkthrough videos to see the storyline again? Oh. Uh... Love the music. Why do you have a spirit trap? Wait, why? Why did wait? Why did you put that in your deck? I mean, I I guess I guess it works. Yeah. Wait, did I do five k, Tim? Did I see that right? Five k. Yo, there's more mobs over here, bro. I was up all of my eyes, cause uh. I do not know who sent you, but you're not leaving here alive. Yo, let's break your curse, bro. All right, power pip. Yeah, finally a power pip. A power pip. First turn, power pip. Wait, is he no spirit shield? Oof. <gasps> oh! No weakness on me, bro. Not sure if I needed it, though. If I would have killed with the weakness on. Oh my god, he got one shot. Oh baby, a triple. You remove the eye of truth from your pouch and hold it up. 
the illusion upon the Thane falls away. His true identity is revealed. It does not matter that you've seen my true face. We have the Thane. You cannot stop us. What? You have defeated the imposter who oh betrayed God. the folk of oh Anders But where is the true Thane? Where is Ivar Anderson? Imposter? Yo, that's sus, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Wait. Every time I quested through here, I instantly skipped that, so I don't even know what was happening. Dang. Wait, why are we going this way? That's crazy. Did you meet with success? Actually, no. A foul raven was disguised as Ivar Anderson? That's grim news indeed. That is why our Thane acted without honor and betrayed us. If he was a raven, then where is the real Ivar Anderson? You should go and give this news to Bjorn Ironclaws. He was a friend of Ivar's and will know what to do. Soon, thanks to you, we will be rid of the Red Claw. Bjorn Ironclaws. Have we talked to this guy before? Never mind. It's the main guy. Of course we have. <coughs> Ignore what I just said. Young Outlander, did you learn what troubled the village of Anders Holt? Bjorn Ironclaws looks troubled. As you explained that Ivar Anderson was replaced by a raven trickster who betrayed the folk of Anders Holt. You tell a dark tale. One I wish I had not heard. The king must know of this. I will tell him when we next hold council. Thank you for your help in this great matter. Your fame grows with every deed you accomplish. Soon you will be counted among Grizzleheim's mightiest heroes. In the time since we last spoke, the wolves are howling in anger at our king. They say they have proof the bears have sided with the Red Claw. They claim that they captured Ivor Anderson, Thane of Anders Holt. I thought it a mistake, but now I know they have the real Thane, and the one we knew was an imposter. Now brave warriors ready themselves to assault the wolves, to rescue the Thane from their midst. Demonstrate your loyalty to our king by joining this assault and proving your valor in battle. Go and speak to Osric Grimbold, the leader of those warriors. He is surely in need of your aid. Wow. Okay, so I'm pretty sure like there's like a level restriction on each one of these. So that that dialogue would make more sense if you like actually did it for the level. But yeah, that's going to do it. This storyline is actually insane. I actually understand why people like Grizzleheim so much. Not because it looks good, but the storyline is also really good. I like it. If you liked it, why don't you subscribe, dude? Okay, that's it. Goodbye.